Good day everyone, this is Teacher Arlene, your lecturer for the third episode of Calculus Speaks. For today's topic, we will tackle about the concepts on converting Cartesian coordinate to polar coordinate and vice versa. So, what is polar and Cartesian coordinates? In rectangular coordinate system, polar coordinates is represented by an order pair r theta, where in r is the radial coordinate, which means the ray or distance from the origin, and the theta is the counterclockwise angle from the positive axis of the coordinate plane or the polar axis. Here are the things to remember in converting polar to Cartesian coordinates and vice versa. In converting polar to Cartesian coordinates, we need the two formulas. x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. So how did we arrive with those formula? Using this figure and the basic trigonometric concepts, we can derive those formula. Using this figure, we can have cosine theta. We know that cosine theta is equal to adjacent x over hypotenuse r. x over r. So, in polar to Cartesian coordinates, we need to find the x. So, let's derive the formula. x is equal to r cos theta. That's it. While in finding the y coordinates, we need to use the sine. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over r. Then, we derive the formula y is equal to r cos theta. So, this is the formula in converting polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. In converting Cartesian to polar coordinates, we also need two formulas. First, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, and theta is equal to arctan y over x. To convert Cartesian to polar coordinates, we need to find the value of r and theta. And in finding the value of r, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem that says, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of its two remaining sides. So from this, we can say that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So we will convert this or derive to r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So this is the formula in finding the value of r. In finding the value of theta, we know that tangent theta through Sokatoa or tangent theta is equal to y over x or opposite over adjacent. So from this, we will find the value of theta. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent of y over x or x tangent y over x. So this is the formula in finding the theta. What about the negative values of x and y? When we include negative values, the x and y axis divide the space up into four pieces, the quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4 in a counterclockwise direction. This become the basis in converting polar to Cartesian coordinate and vice versa. Converting from Cartesian to polar coordinates, we might calculate the wrong value of arctan. So it depends on what quadrant the point is in. If it is in quadrant 1, we use the calculated value. If it is in quadrant 2 and 3, we add 130 degrees to the calculated value. And then, if it is in quadrant 4, we add 360 degrees in the calculated value. 
So, let's review some concepts. To convert from polar to Artesian coordinates, we use the formula the x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. To convert from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates, we also use two formula. First, the r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, and then theta is equal to r tan y over x. We also need to adjust the value of arctan based on what quadrant the point is in. See you in the next episode of Alculus Speaks.